What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Level Start Podcast, part of the Play Legit Network, your only source for gaming and real talk. I am your host, T42. What's going on, everybody? I'm going to break it down for you all today. Going to start off this show right. We're going to have some fun. We're going to talk about some games, get some news to you guys. That way, you all can stay in the know, get a little bit of uh, my opinion on what's trending, what's going on with some of this stuff. I'm really excited and thankful to KJ for bringing me on to the Play Legit crew to be a part of this with you guys. So this is uh, this is gonna be really awesome. I'm really looking forward to it. So uh, let's jump in onto some news and things on games. Wolfenstein: The New Order, guys, check it out. Wolfenstein: The New Order. If you guys don't know, if you guys haven't heard, if you pre-order that stuff, you guys get the uh, Doom Beta access, which is gonna be really awesome. I'm kind of excited. I've been looking forward for a new Doom game in a long time. And this isn't just a PC thing, guys. You can go get it for your Xbox One. You can pre-order and uh, get access to the Doom beta. Now, the thing is, though, is when you pre-order, you don't immediately get like this this access. It's something that they'll send to you later. But uh, I'm pretty excited about that. I'm looking forward to the new Wolfenstein. I, I, um, I kind of have that old classic PC heart of uh, the classic Wolfenstein and you know grew up playing it when I was a kid so I'm kind of excited for this same thing with Doom um, Bethesda's bringing a lot of this stuff back so it's been a while since we've seen a game from either of these two titles but uh, I'm looking forward to that so gear up for that guys uh, the other big thing I'm looking forward to is just continuing development on this Oculus Rift guys I am I am so excited anytime a new article comes out about this I get pumped I get pumped, pumped, pumped about it. Um, there's a new thing that just came out uh, with The Legend of Zelda. They do uh, an Oculus VR thing, and I'll probably get some some video or something up here above one of my shoulders, and uh, you guys will be able to see that and check it out. Um, but there's there's this new uh, developed beta. It's in beta right now uh, where you can actually play through the original uh Oculus or the original Legend of Zelda like in first person mode with the Oculus Rift to be honest with you It looks slightly disorienting at the moment because you're dealing with walking around a 3d environment with sprites in your face All up all up in here. And so uh, it should be interesting, but I'm pretty excited for it uh, speaking of the Oculus um, the Oculus VR company um, is going to be starting up its own convention. It's going to be the called RiftCon, and it's going to be its very own convention that they're going to start doing. Um, because you know, at the different conventions, the the Oculus has been there. It's been a part of it. It's uh, been going pretty strong. People have been getting their hands on it. I had one for a short period of time. It wasn't like mine, but I was stewarding it, and I got to try it out and play a whole bunch of games and stuff with it. It's a lot of fun. So. Uh, really looking forward to seeing what's coming out of their own convention you know who, who's to know who's to see um some other big things um we got going on here we got some different games that are coming out uh titanfall is huge you guys probably already know all about it everybody's probably seen all the videos and all the footage been in part of the beta evening probably uh i'm excited titanfall is going to be dropping uh, on the Xbox one on March 11th. So that's going to be exciting. I'm looking forward to get the PC version myself and uh, Seeing uh, how much fun that's going to be. I'm sure you guys are all looking forward to it uh, some other games uh, As you guys already might be aware uh, If you have a 360 right now, they got the games with live so you have a live account uh, two games a month come out for free uh, usually in the classics category and you can just download them and have a good time. I think a lot of people uh, I think this is actually an interesting thing that they're doing, and it's a really good, um, I don't know what to call it, and I don't know what the word would be for it, but I think it's a really good move on Microsoft's part to get the console gamer's mind into downloading games uh, and going away from, like, this diskless system. Because, um, you know, PC gamers have been doing it for years, and I like the idea of like ownership and physically having the device there and then the resale value. I'm not I'm not arguing uh, against those points by any means because I love, you know, retro stores and retro gaming and, and, and resale and stuff like that. I think there's a market and it's got a niche and it's great. My thing is, is I think uh, as things go forward, digital distribution is definitely going to need to have uh, a better 
stance on the console market. And I think Microsoft, even though their console, their new console, isn't doing so well, uh, I think it's definitely putting that geared mindset uh, into motion. And uh, I'm pretty excited about that. Um, go check out the store, guys. There's a lot of uh, really cool things on there. Uh, I recently just picked up some Halo stuff myself that uh, I never had physical discs for. I'd really like to see them potentially do a re-release of Halo 2. Um, it was, in my opinion, it was kind of underrated. I, I, I enjoyed the game, but uh, some people didn't. Whatevs. Um, but I definitely thought it had, uh, it held its own in my opinion for my, uh, I'm looking forward to hopefully them putting a remake out of that. Um, I want to talk to you guys about some really awesome places y'all can go find some really good deals on games and stuff like that. Let's talk about a few different places. If you have a PC or if you're a gamer in general, you already know about the big one, Steam. Uh, Steam sales are going strong right now. There's a lot of really good Steam sales going on. As of this uh, recording, it's the weekend, so there's a big Ubisoft sale going on right now with Ubisoft games. Um, a lot of the Splinter Cell stuff. Go check it out. Pretty sweet. Uh, I don't know if by the time this releases, if it's still there. If not, still go check out those games because they're good games. And they're always doing sales on Steam. Uh, another sale that's going on right now is over at GOG.com. Good old games. They got a lot of games on sale this weekend. I don't know how much longer these ones are going to be on sale either, but they are always running sales on all of their stuff um, all the time. It's it's crazy. They, they do big holiday sales and stuff like that, just like Steam does. But uh, I probably, probably have a uh, solid, solid 200 plus games on just GOG alone. Not to mention, like, the 700 plus I have on Steam. <coughs> if you guys haven't picked up on this yet, I'm a huge PC gamer. But I have mad love for consoles as well. So uh, don't don't be thinking I ain't going to cover console stuff either. Um, another really good place, too, for the PC people that don't really know about it is a place called Gamesgate.com. Uh, they're another really good place to find deals on games and stuff like that. But one for everybody, for console, for PC, for everything involved, a great place to really go and check on the lowest prices all over the uh, web uh, and stores and stuff like that to, to get games is this website called CheapAssGamer.com. You guys haven't heard it, check it out. They have a huge price tracker that they do on all of their games, or on all games essentially that they can find. And it's constantly being updated and constantly letting you know and it'll tell you you know how much it's gone down uh like for example here they have sanctum it's down 76 percent to for, you know down to two dollars and 48 cents uh at the at green man gaming so go check those things out guys there's a lot of really great places to get games and stuff like that and uh i also want to touch briefly um i kind of talk fast sometimes I, I tend to forget how fast i can talk sometimes when i'm getting on a roll with stuff but uh I kind of want to touch base briefly. This is a this is a new show with Play Legit uh, coming from uh, a uh, level start used to be its own independent thing uh, with a with a buddy of mine, but he wanted to uh, kind of go you know do some some other work in uh, the genre, so we decided to branch off. He's doing great. I wish the best to to Mike. You might know him. Remember the ages. Go check out his stuff. He does a lot of live stream and stuff like that. He's pretty cool. So I just want to give a shout out and appreciation to him, guys. Um, so I'm now with uh, KJ and his crew, and this is going to be fun. It's going to be great. Uh, hopefully, you'll see me every week doing this. Uh, if you guys have things you all want to talk about, if you have questions, tips, comments, whatever, throw them out there. Um, be sure to check us out on all of our social media. We have uh, at PlayLegit on Twitter. You guys can find us at PlayLegit.net on the interwebs. Uh, if you go to the old Facebook, I'm sure you can find us there uh, because it's, of course, PlayLegit on Facebook. And I'll have, you know, we'll get, we'll get links to all these things uh, in descriptions and stuff like that so you all can stay up to date on those things. Um... Alright guys, well anyway, that's been the show this week. We're going to keep it short and simple, kind of give you all a little introduction. 
talk about a few things. Be on the lookout. We'll be covering more news as it comes. Y'all are awesome. Keep it real, guys. Stay legit. Y'all are awesome. Take it easy.